Six o'clock, we are following breaking news in New Haven. Police are investigating a bomb threat at a building on El Grosso Boulevard. Now this is happening just days after a bomb threat forced the evacuation of several buildings on the campus of Yale. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Rath is live right now. Susan, what are you learning? We are live here on El Grasso Boulevard and there is a lot of police activity. We want to show you exactly what's going on. If you look down El Grasso Boulevard, you see a lot of emergency vehicles, police and fire trucks. This part of the road is closed off from Legion to Columbus. Now, we believe that the facility or what's happening with this bomb threat is that it might be a psychiatric facility, but we've not been able to confirm that. But what we have seen come down the street since we've been here, actually, they were taking what appeared to be residents on city buses as well as school buses. Those vehicles left the street, but then within the past few minutes or so, some of those buses have been coming back with residents, which may be an indication that this alleged or potential bomb threat may be over. But make no mistake, this was a very serious situation. They had bomb sniffing dogs, etc. Everybody out here earlier today looking around this facility. This came in this afternoon and they're taking this very seriously. At this point, though, we believe that it may be winding down because, again, we saw residents on buses being able to come back into or on this street. If I want to take a look here, you can see this part of the road is completely shut off. People are asked not to come here. that you should avoid. And we should also mention that it was just last week that Yale New Haven had a very serious uh, bomb threat on their campus. And uh, so police have been very busy. But at this point, uh, we are waiting for more information, but a lot of buses have been leaving with residents, and we will bring you much more information as it becomes available. For now, we are live in New Haven. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Susan, with that breaking news, thank you very much.